is a precarious role to play as they become the target for the chasing pack. Sam Johnson became the latest Warriors centurion. Search out that elusive first win of the campaign. We are underway and... Ball's inside. Palmer, Ruggieri. Stay on. Cook now delivers the pass, looking. And Eden, it now comes to Trula. Warriors defence desperately scrambling, covering the ground, closing down any of the spaces. First it's another penalty for Zebre Parman, quickly taken by Chris Cook. And what a start from the visitors. Still driving forward. It's going to be difficult to defend this. Advantage is being played. Driving on just short. And now having scored. It's an unstoppable unit for the Glasgow Warriors. Gets the first of the night for the Warriors. Hookers have the easiest job on a honestly Mossy. Just cling on to the ball, hope everyone pushes them in there and they get all the plaudits. But that's a great mall, isn't it? And we spoke about it earlier. We spoke about, oh, well, he's done a pretty good job there on the floor. With the tee. And he steers that one round. Beautifully struck by the scrum half, and it gives Glasgow Warriors the lead. Next to be able to uh, get a good fold and get a get a good width and be able to get off the line. Well, and perfectly timed. Thank you very much, Aldo. As your side take the lead, all to rumble on. It's surely going to be a second try. It is. It's another double against Zebre for Johnny Matthews. What did I tell you, Mossy? Easiest job on the ball. <laughs> really well set up. And you see big Sione Vailanu here just pull away, breaks that edge, and they've got no hope. Rebaldi goes to the front. It did just get a tip from a Zebra hand, but Matthews on to it. And now to Priya. Too big, too strong. That unstoppable JP Dupria. And Glasgow now have separation between themselves and Zebre Palmer. There's Scott Cummins putting pressure on the throat. Zambuni can't quite get it. Johnny Matthews pounces. And then there's the offload to big JD, uh, JP Dupria. It's not fair, is it? Get out of my way. <laughs> Centre comes second row, but they avoid him, and it Mom. comes to the traditional man in the lineup, Scott Cummings. Now the bodies enter the mall, the 10 man mall driving on. Is it to be the hat trick? It certainly is for Johnny Matthews. Again, great setup. You know, they're worried about Stafford with down, down the front, but genuinely, if he's an option, then they do. They put men there and they set that up really well. Simon Bergen fighting through there against Sione Vialanu, and he's done well to finish that, but I think I'm going to go down there. George Horn nailed his first one of the night and he splits the post with that one to build Glasgow Warriors lead but it's been a half decent chase it's just really really loose Ribaldi with the carry for Zebra and now Bonnie McDowell trying to rip that away but he's a strong man the 11 times capped at Zuri Centre Stay on four. Step four. Step. Step. Glasgow Use it. An opportunity for this. Uh, Coming to the charge Go. down on Yelich, and here goes George Horn. Couldn't quite fend off Jesse, but he can get the pass away to the captain. It's been a night for the forwards, but now Stafford McDowell gets the backs in on the act, stretching away. The skipper links up with his scrum half. And Glasgow Warriors get the first try in the second half. Kick didn't come, more pressure from Scott Cummins. And then just look at the reaction of the Glasgow Warriors players in comparison to the Zebra players. Brilliant offload initially from Rory Darge. And this is even better from George Horn under real pressure. Pops it up to Stafford McDowell, the support player coming through. That phase of play, it was erratic, it was messy. But Glasgow Warriors looked so much fitter and so much quicker to react and got the try.
Yeah, just before that, Mossy, you were saying how loose it was getting, and it was, and you need to find structure somehow, and the only way that Zebra Palmer, you know, with the flight in the legs still, and 50 minutes gone, some start to see some tired bodies, and that's where Glasgow can definitely capitalise. Bind! You can see there, frustrated George Horn that he wasn't able Sit. to deliver the pass out as the play was stopped now. Can the Warriors get advantage. forward momentum? They have the penalty advantage. The backs will have a go. It's weird. It is a run in. It's Josh Mackay. It's another try for the Glasgow Warriors. The winner with a simple process to finish off the move. That's six tries. And it's a night that just keeps getting better and better for the Glasgow Warriors. George Horn. Lining up another conversion, it's another fine strike from the scrum half. It's now a 30-point lead for the Glasgow Warriors and delighted to say we can. Dupree it. Brown to Johnson, just has to fend off the tackler who is Manfredi. Oh, here's Vailanu, gap opens up for him, he's got a man in his shoulder! And Thomas Gordon goes under the post in front of the East Stands. Warriors move on to 43 points with a conversion to come. The third try of the second half. Look at this second play, it's mossy. I mean, they hit him up here, but look how wide Sione Vailano is. So hard to defend tight, let alone wide when there's bigger spaces. He managed to get into that gap and then just a great support line by Tom, but brilliant pass. Brilliant pass from Jamie Dobie initially going forward and then to see that and, and for Violano, one or two players close to where you're going to pass it, but to have the vision to see outside that, the almost a third player who's wide. Great timing, great pass, good try. Violano leaves it for Dobie. McDowell wriggles out of one Seven tackle. Seven off. Dobie goes again. Brown might yet get his tries. Watch Johnny Matthews get a hat trick from the start. But now Fraser Brown is off the bench. Duncan Weir will just look to put some further gloss on the scoreline. But not quite. That is full time. Four tries in each half for the Warriors. It was all about Johnny Matthews in the first half. They cut loose in the second.